The bit L shift function within Excel performs a bitwise left shift operation on a number. So let's see how this works. We type bit L shift and open the parentheses. The first argument of this function is a number, a decimal number. So let's input uh, 23 and then we input the shift amount. Now the shift amount is a number of bits. We want to shift this number to the left. So let's take three and close the parentheses. And the result we are getting is 184. Now this is exactly the same as multiplying a number with a power of two, where the power is a number of bits we have shifted to the left. So in this case, we have 23. We multiply this with two to the power of the shift, which was in this case three. So that would be nine, so 23 times nine, and the end result is 184. So let's take a starting number. We have three, and we will be performing a couple of left shifts on this number. So one, two, three, and let's continue this. Let's do seven left shifts. So each time we do a bit L shift of this number, three, and the shift amount is equal to the number we have specified on the right hand side. We make sure to absolutely reference the tree. So we're always shifting from the starting number, the tree. I press enter, I pull this through. There we have the results. As you can see, each time we are basically multiplying the previous result with two. So just to show you that this is exactly the same as what I said earlier, where we take the number and multiply it with a power of two, where the power is equal to the shift amount. So I make sure to absolutely reference the tree. I pull this down and you can see we are getting exactly the same result. Now, okay, we've established that the result is the same, but why is it the same? Well, then we need to take a closer look as to what a binary number actually means. Now, if we first take a look at the decimal number system, we have 184. Well, that's a one, an eight and a four, three digits. The first digit within a decimal number always has a weight of one, the second has a weight of 10, and the third has a weight of 100. And it continues like this. So the fourth would be thousand, the fifth, 10,000. Each time we are multiplying the weight by 10. So that's why we call it the decimal number system. Now to end up with the final result, we are multiplying each digit with its respective weight. So one times 100, eight times 10 and four times one. And in the end, then we add all of these numbers together and we end up with 184. Now there is a function within Excel that allows us to convert a decimal number to a binary number. This function is called the DEC to bin function. So we input a decimal number and the result will be the binary representation of that number. So in this case here, we have uh, the binary number of 184. So let's write this out. So we have one, zero, one, 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 zero, zero, zero. There we go. Now with a binary number, the first digit is also word one. The second digit is word two. The third is four and it continues like this. So each time we multiply the previous digit with two. So let's pull this through. So as you can see, the eighth digit in the binary number system is worth 128. So now all that we are doing is multiplying the digit with its weight, just like we did with the decimal number system and then adding the result together. And here we take a sum of all of these results. And as you can see, the result is also 184. So the binary number is just a different numerical representation of exactly the same number. Now let's perform a left shift to see what exactly is going on. So we take exactly the same number as before. So let me copy this. And then in the end, we add an additional zero like that. Now I will be copying the weights. And of course, because we have added one digit, we need to calculate a new weight. So that's 128 times two. So the weight of this one will be 265. Now we also multiply the digits with its weight and pull this through. So do this for every digit. And then we add the result together. And so we can see the result is 386, which is double of 184. Now, why is that happening? Well, as we shift one bit to the left, we are basically increasing the value of these, of these bits. And so we're increasing them bit two because the weight is multiplied by two each time in a binary system. Now, how I can also better explain this is by converting these numbers here to binary. So we use DEC to bin. I input this number and I pull this through. And so here you might be able to see what's going on, right? Each time we're simply adding an additional zero to get the final result. 
One way that could perhaps make it even more clear is if we fix the number of places. So that's actually the second argument to the DEC to bin function, where we can specify, okay, we want this many places. So let's take nine and then pull this through. So here you can see the left shift that's going on, right? You can see the ones being pushed to the left hand side. That's why we call this a bitwise left shift operation. So in essence, with the bit L shift function, we input a decimal number and we shift this binary to the left. Now what's going on behind the scenes is we convert the decimal number to binary, like we've done here, and then we add one zero in the front, getting us a new binary number, which we then convert back to a decimal number. And that is the result of the bit L shift function. If you found this helpful, consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like these. You can also leave a tip using the PayPal link in the description. Thanks for stopping by. Feel free to watch this recommended video.